Hi friends, this is Manoj here and I'm a data scientist. So in this particular video, we will be discussing about two of the very most popular programming language and which are widely widely used across the globe, right? So that is the Python as well as the C++ programming language. Now, uh, many might have been very familiar with the C++, right? Because it was one of the revolutionary programming language that took place or it was occurred in mid of 1980s that is between 1980 and 1990s right so of course quite common question that might being bombarded is should i be opting python or should i be going with the c++ advanced c++ in order to get into the field of machine learning ai or data science right this, this is the most common question for a person or a programmer who knows c++ as well as python right so which one should i be opting for a machine learning one? So let's get started with that part. So let's go ahead with a few of the key points that we have listed down here, and then we'll add the weights accordingly. Cool. So let's get started. So Python is a readable, efficient, and very powerful high-level general purpose programming language, right? It has a automatic memory management. I'll come to that point. General purpose high-level language basically means Python uses syntax of english terminologies that are very easy to use write and read okay so that is why it is saying it is a readable efficient and powerful high level general purpose programming language and general purpose basically states that it is not bounded by any of the constraints right it is used for both uh, software development tools for software testing application development android development ios development you can use it and even for the machine learning and data science, of course, right? So coming to the C++, C++ is also one of the general purpose programming language, which is uh, oftenly called as extensions of C, or you can even say like, it is a C with classes. Okay, so C++ is a, an extension version of a C programming language, cool. And C++ supports object-oriented generic as well as a functional programming features, okay? same the same thing python is also being provided so python also supports multiple programming paradigms that includes uh, object oriented programming as well as the functional programming right so both supports the same c++ was first appeared in 1985 that is what i told you in the earlier right so it was a revolutionary programming language that that just popped up in the mid of 1980s between 1980 and 1990s that it was initially appeared on 1985 Cool. Python was developed in late 1980s, but it was released on 1991. So the first version of Python was typically named as Python 0.9.0. And Python became super duper popular in early 2000s. Right. So this was all about the historical data and the origin of both the programming language, that is the Python as well as the C++. Now let's go ahead and view this in the vision of a data science or from the aspect of a data science of machine learning right so that is what we want to know in much more details cool let's get started with the flow then so python allows users to write crisp codes in less number of lines that means python since it is using a uh, general a uh, common english terminologies right as a syntax to write this code snippet python programming does not have a fixed structure when compared to c++ C++ have a fixed structures that is, uh, let me let me tell you the structure of C programming, a high level overview. So initially you have to include the libraries or you, you need to call the header files, preprocessors, then you are going to define the main function. Inside that you're going to print or do all the computation that you want to execute. So what happens here is C++ requires typically large number of lines and the writing this large number of lines of codes are quite complex and they're much more complicated when compared to the python right so c++ codes are very complex and a user or a programmer needs to have a good amount of knowledge on the predefined syntax that is as i discussed c++ has its own structure and there are cert certain set of rules that you we need to follow while writing c++ programs okay so it has a fixed syntax rules and there are some programming conventions and there is a proper structure that we need to follow through when we're writing the C++ code. But what happens in case of Python is 
you are free from all of them you need not worry you need not have to worry about all this structures programming convention all the syntax rules of course syntax is going going to quite differ from c++ but python also has its own syntax right simply we cannot uh, write something else there is proper format we need to do we need to focus on but when compared to c++ there is no structure or there is no much complexity it's not complicated as c++ so python hence there is a increase in efficiency and flexibility when compared to c++ okay since there is less number of complications python is holding the higher hand because it is flexible and it is more efficient cool then python's simplicity and the closeness to the humans because it is using english right it is using english language most commonly used by humans on this earth right this makes a person or the or the organization to maintain this whole structure of python or the whole snippet of code that are written in python very very efficient and it it makes them uh, easy to maintain whereas in case of c++ it is quite less manageable and of course it is more complex for that matter then coming to c++ again since it is more complex it is not that flexible and this might hamper the potential of the usefulness of its particular own code right since it is more complex if i am going to transfer my coding to somebody else in the same organization it might so happen that i might have written from the different aspect and the receiver end who is going to receive that might not understand that right that it might happen it might happen in case of c++ because there are two different things that can happen right but in case of python since it is having no proper structure there is a lot of flexibility right it is quite easy for someone to understand the given snippet of code and you can build your own functionalities from scratch in case of python right so these are the pros and cons of both the programming language that's it for today thank you